The steps that we will follow to calculate the price of paper are first to calculate the number of sheets of paper needed to produce the job. We'll reference the number out formula that we learned about earlier in the semester, and we'll also always use the press size sheet or PSS to calculate the number of sheets needed. Now in the real world, you don't have to always purchase the same size sheet of paper that you're going to run through your printing press. You can purchase a larger sheet of paper and trim it down to the size that you need. But to keep things simple for our class, we will always purchase and run the same size sheet of paper. The second step will be to calculate the weight of the paper, and we'll reference our paper weights lecture to do that. And then last, we will use either the CWT or the M sheet pricing formula to calculate the price of the paper. CWT stands for hundredweight, and we will use the weight of the paper or pounds of paper. And M sheet stands for 1,000 sheets of paper, and we will use the number of sheets needed to calculate the M sheet price. The first thing we need to do is calculate the number of sheets needed to produce the job. The formula for calculating the number of sheets needed is the quantity of the item that you are producing divided by the number out. And so if we were going to print a million postcards, we would divide a million postcards by the number of postcards that can fit on one press size sheet. That will give us the total number of sheets needed. It's not always going to come out to an even answer, so no matter what the answer comes out to, any decimal place will be rounded up to the next whole number. If you round down, you'll end up not meeting your quantity, and so you might end up with 999,998 postcards instead of a million. We need to reference the steps for calculating number out in order to correctly fill out our formula. This is referenced in our uh, packaging and shipping lecture from a few weeks ago. You can reference it on slides 8 through 12 in that lecture. I'm going to go through them pretty quickly here in the next video.